a guy who's been talking about transition for a long time with me has been Joe Manchin. He's, uh, he lives, breathes, and eats West Virginia. But Joe, uh, what's, how, how is this going to help, if it is, the uh, West Virginia and the transition to uh, a, a strengthened, not totally new, but a new economy? Yeah. Well, Mr. President, you and I have spoken many times about this when you first came into office, even when you was running at that time, <clears throat> about how West Virginians felt they were left behind. My wonderful state and all the great workers and the people in my state have worked hard and they're very proud. They've done the heavy lifting for years and years and years. And basically, they never complained. And as things started changing and transitioning, there was nothing left for them. Uh, 21 of our most uh, affected counties are in southern West Virginia. This is based around that. And it's, it's, it's pumping into a, an area which is, we call it the Appalachian Climate Technology or the ACT NOW Coalition, which is led by uh, Brandon Dennison. Brandon's here with us and he's done a tremendous job with his team and the Coalfield Development Corporation. It's basically reinventing, not just reinventing, but basically being able to meet the needs of the public as we transition and making sure that we can provide the services. That's what they've been doing for quite some time. And this, this announcement here and this rescue plan, uh, the American Rescue Plan, continues to play benefits uh, for West Virginia. But you know, uh, also uh, your co-chair of Appalachian Regional Commission, uh, Gail Manchin, who I know very well, uh, <laughs> is very, very proud that Appalachia has gotten so much consideration and assistance. And you're the first person, Mr. President, and with your most capable uh, secretary and, and, and uh, our dear friend Gina Raimondo, uh, directing it to the people that need it the most. I think that's what we're here to say is thank you. These 21 counties uh, have eight, eight regional projects I have with us here on the panel. I have my dear friend, Amy Goodwin, <laughs> chairman, uh, she's a uh, mayor of Charleston. I have Steve Williams, fellow colleague of mine, and, and he is uh, mayor of uh, Huntington, our two largest cities. And we have with us also Stephanie Tyree, and she's uh, uh, the West Virginia Hub Director uh, that works directly with these projects. They can explain in detail what this is going to allow us to do. And we've gotten a, this $62.8 million, one of the top awards, and we're so proud of that. But the need is there, and I can guarantee you the investments will be made. Uh, you and I have spoken many times about you can spend money or you can invest money. Uh, we're going to give you a return on this. We're going to give the taxpayers of the United States a return on their investment in West Virginia. That's what this is about. And a reward base to the people who have done the heavy lifting to allow them to continue to transition. Now with our, uh, our Inflation Reduction Act, Mr. President, this leads, segues right into that uh, because now it's going to allow them uh, to start focusing on a, a new, uh, a complete new way of uh, delivering the uh, energy that this country is going to need. Coal, uh, all we talked about, all the cars, and Debbie Stebenow and I talk about that a lot, and I said, Debbie, you wouldn't have a car if it wasn't for the coal and, and the steel that we produce to send you the material that you need to make the car. So we're, we're all hooked to the hip here. And as the transition goes on, uh, the investments that are being made, the 48C tax credit is going to put $4 billion on additionally back into coal hit communities so we can diversify and attract more business there. So I just can't tell you how much this means, Mr. President, and uh, I'm just so proud to be part of this and also so proud of what the ARP has done, American Rescue Plan, and so excited to see what the in, uh, Inflation Reduction Act is going to do. So many people don't know how much is in there that's going to trans, trans, transition their lives and transfer them into an economy it's going to give them an awful lot of stability. So we're very proud. Well, Joe, thanks. 